In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a very interesting problem to find product of array except self. So the problem statement is given an array of n integer where n greater than 1. So we have the array whose size is always greater than 1. We have to write a code to print the result or output such that result i is equal to the product of all the elements of an array except self. So let's see the example. So this is the input array and we uh, we have four elements in an array so the product at this index so the product at 0th index is the product of all the all the elements of an array except the value present at this index so you can say uh, let's ignore uh, uh, 4 and do the product 2 into 1 into 7 which is 14 so this is the product at this index now the product at this index is 4 into 1 into 7 which is 28 so the product at this index is 4 into 2 into 7 which is 56 and the product at this index is 4 into 2 into 1 which is 8 so you can see uh, we have the product of all the elements of an array except self so we don't have to include this if we do the product at zeroth index then we have to do the product of all the element except uh, the value present at zeroth index similarly for uh, for first index for second index for third index and this is the output and uh, so we have some constraint we have to solve this problem without a division without using a division operation and we have to solve this problem in linear time in o n time complexity so this is the problem statement and now let's see how we can solve this problem efficiently although we don't have to use the division operation for solving this problem but let's see how we can solve this problem if division operation is allowed so in that case what we do uh, what we do is we first find the product of all the elements of an array so we traverse an array and find the product of all the elements of an array so in this case if we do the product of all the elements of an array then it is uh, 56 so we get so the value of uh, this integer product after this operation is 56 and then what we can do is we uh, visit each index and we do the division operation so let's say uh, the product of all the elements of an array is 56 so at this index what we do is we divide 56 by 4 so we get 14 here then we visit next index and we divide 56 by 2 so here we get 28 then we visit next index and we divide by 1 so in this case 56 similarly we get 8 here and this is the code for uh, doing this operation and after that we return the result which is uh, the array of answers so so uh, the output present at each index so uh, if division operation is allowed then uh, we can solve this problem uh, in this way so this is the one way to solve if this constant is not there in the code now let's say how we can solve this problem without division operation let's see how we can solve this problem without division operation so let's first visualize the solution so uh, what's the product at this index so product at this index is the product of all the numbers which is present at the right side of uh, this number and what the product at this index would look like the product at this index would be the product of all the numbers present at the right side of this number and product of all the number which is present at the left side of uh, this number the product at this index is the product of all the numbers present at the right side of this number and product of all the number which is present at the left side of this number and product 
at this index is the product of all the element which is present at the left side of this number so now we can conclude that to find the product at ith index we first need to find the product of all the number present at the left of this index and uh, product of all the number which is present at the right of this index and by multiplying these two product we get the product at this index without including the number itself so uh, by using this approach we can solve this problem let's declare two array left and right and left i would contain the product of all the number to the left of i and right i would contain all the number to the right of i now let's first focus on left array and let's start filling uh, the left array the value of left 0 would be 1 since there are no element present to the left of this index and for rest of the element we use this expression left i equal to left i minus 1 into nums minus 1 and we start this loop from 1 and its terminating condition is i is less than nums dot length when the value of i is equal to the length of an array we terminate this loop so uh, what's the value at this index at at first index the value at first index is the uh, number which is present at zeroth index into the number present at the zeroth index of this array so it is 4 what's the value at this index so it is the number present at this index and the number present at this index so it is 8 and what's the value at this index so it is the number present at this index and the number present at this index so it is 8 so now uh, the left array is completely filled now let's focus on the right array so for right array we do the same operation but in reverse order so uh, the number at this index would be 1 as there are no right element present after this index so the number at this index would be 1 what's the number at this index so the number at this index is the number present at this index and the number present at this index so this is the input array so it would be 7 so you can see this expression so at n minus 1 we assign 1 and then we start the loop from n minus 2 from this index and the value of i should be greater than or equal to 0 uh, and at each step uh, we decrement the value of i and what we do is uh, for right i we do the right i plus 1 into nums i plus 1 right is this array and nums is the input array so now the number at this index would be the number present at this index into the number present at this index which is 7 now the product at this index would be the number at this index into the number at this index which is 14 so now <coughs> we get the product of the left we fill the left array and we fill the right array so let's find the answer let's find the product at each in index except self so what we do is we simply run a loop and we do the multiplication so at 0th index the number present at the 0th index of left array and the number present at the 0th index of right array so which is 14 the product at first index would be the product the number present at the uh, at first index of the left array and at the first index of right array which is 28 similarly for this 
index the product would be 8 into 7 which is 56 and at this index the product would be 8 into 1 which is 8 so now you can see we have find we have found the product at each index except that number so we have solved this problem in o n time complexity and its space complexity is also o n and now let's us uh, see the next approach in which we optimize uh, the space complexity we have already solved this problem without using division operation and let's see how we can optimize the space complexity in this approach i mean how uh, we can solve this problem without using left and right array which we have used in our previous approach so uh, this is the input array and we need one array which uh, keeps the answer i mean product of all the number except the number present at this index then what we do is we initialize a zeroth index with one and we run a loop from one to nums dot length and we do the following operations so what's the uh, product at this index so it is the number present at this index and the number present at this index so it is the product of the number present at this and this index so it it is 4 then at next uh, at next index it is 8 and then at next index it is 8 so you can so using this operation we have calculated the left product and now to calculate the right product we do this operation so instead of uh, initializing one uh, right array we take one variable which keep track of uh, the right product and we do this operation so uh, if we run this loop and do this operation then uh, the product at uh, product at this index would be 8 the product at this index would be 56 the product at this index would be 28 and the product at this index would be 14 so you can uh, see uh, we achieve the output without using two extra left uh, two extra array i mean left and right so in this approach we solve this problem in constant space o n time uh, o n space complexity the time complexity is o n but the space complexity is o1 so don't count uh, this space as this array is declared uh, just to return the result and if we see the main method i have declared one array and i am calling this method and once i get the result i am printing the result and if we run this code you can see uh, the output is this array and I'll also uh, share the code link in the description box. So uh, please check the description box uh, for complete code. And that's it for this uh, video tutorial. For more such programming tutorial, you can subscribe our YouTube channel. You can visit our website, which is https://webrewrite.com. Thanks for watching this video.